This is a case of a five-year-old girl who presented with uh, pain around the right ear and uh, right-sided ear pus discharge and right-sided lower motor neuron facial palsy. And the case was discussed uh, with uh, ENT and advised a further evaluation with a CT of the head. So let's have a look in this region and uh, the rest of the head as well. Let's have a look. Let's scroll the images to make our impression. So as for the CT head, the brain looks normal. There are no uh, intracranial pathological findings. But as we can see here, there is swelling of the soft tissues around the right ear and uh, around the external auditory meters. And uh, there is significant uh, opacification of the right um, petrous bone. There is hypopneumatization of the right middle ear. And there is also hypopneumatization and some changes in the right mastoid uh, cells. We will see it. Uh, in bone window as well. Comparing the left with the right, we can see the differences I described previously. Uh, there is uh, evidence of some erosions, bone erosions, so probably this is uh, a neglected case. There are no thin uh, slices. This is a pediatric case. But uh, we can see and uh, have our impression regarding uh, this pathology. There are some bone erosions in this region as well. Uh, at this point, uh, and uh, given the opportunity of this case, I would like to mention that uh, there are two major possible complications of uh, uh, any case of automastoiditis. Uh, the first is uh, intracranial extension of the inflammation and uh, abscess formation. So we, ha we have to uh, take a closer look around this region to rule out any possible collection in this case, it's clear there are no pathological findings. Uh, another possible uh, complication in case of uh, automastoiditis is thrombosis of the venous sinuses. This is an unenhanced CT scan, but however, we must have a closer look to see if there is any hyperdensity in the vessels. Here is the anatomical region of the venous right uh, venous sinuses, the transverse and the sigmoid venous sinuses. Uh, it looks clear. There are no other indirect uh, findings to suggest any intracranial pathology. Dear friends, uh, thank you for watching. If you find my videos uh, useful, please subscribe to my channel. So, see you again the next time soon. Thank you.